Hi, it's Sally here at Buggy Baby. Today, I'm going to have a look at the Ickle Bubba Globe Pushchair. So, starting with the box, I have to say it's really, really good. It's really sturdy, really well packed. Let's turn it up on its side. So, I'm going to open this up and let's see what we get. This retails at £199 and it's for babies from birth until you're around three years old. So let's have a look and see what we've got. So the Ickle Bubba Globe, which I have here, is suitable for children from birth until they're 15 kilograms, which as I say is around three years old. And the aluminium frame weighs 6.4 kilos. So that's really good. It's a really lightweight frame, which certainly will make a difference. So what do we get in the packaging? We've got um, a rain cover and some instructions. We've got the wheels and then we've got the rest here. Okay, so let's see if we can put this together. So this Ickle Bubba Globe is the gray on silver colorway, as you can see. And first thing we've got to do is to put the wheels on. So the wheels have come here. And if I, if I take off this wrapping, as you can see, the wrapping is very good. It's very protective. It's looking after the, the chassis here, the aluminium chassis and the leatherette bumper bar. So that's really good. All right, so we can see here that this is where um, the wheels go. There is an L on here, just, um, just embossed in the plastic, which is really helpful. If I undo this package and pop that in there. Actually, maybe I should open this up first. So tip number one, open up the push chair before you put the wheels on. There we are. Okay. Brilliant. So that's good. That's that's slotted on really easily. So if I turn the chassis round and then I can put the other one on here. I haven't actually opened up and locked the push chair in place yet. All I'm doing is putting the wheels on so that I can stand it upright um, nice and sturdily. So there's the second wheel here. Pop that in there. Good to go. Okay, so I've pulled the frame out. There we are. Let's see if you can see that okay. So we've got safety harness, which is um, adjustable. We've got one, two uh, different levels here. So when baby's very young, and remember you can use this from birth, you can use this on the smallest setting and then extend it. I love these pads that are around the strap here. Um, that's great, really cozy. Similarly, these pads around the middle strap make sure that baby is going to be really comfy right from the word go. Really lovely quilted uh, seat unit here. The fabric feels quite soft. Even though you can tell it's very sturdy, it's got a really soft feel. Uh, to touch so I think any any young baby certainly is going to appreciate that. So let's look at the side um, This was the lock the from when we folded it up We've got an under seat basket, which is suspended. I hope you can see this. Okay, and You can see that is, if I move this strap out of the way, we've got a really good access area here for under the seat uh, basket. So I like that, that's really good because no one wants to be, you know, ducking and diving when you're out and about. You want to be able to easily access what you've got under here, slide your groceries under there. There's the hood, if we pull it out, really lovely canopy with a sun visor area as well. But under here, if I take this away, you've got a peekaboo uh, panel, which is really great for when you're out with baby and you can see what they're up to, see if they're asleep without having to look around and possibly wake them up when they're about to have a doze. And then that can be sealed back over again. It's actually got a magnetic 
clip there to keep it in place, which is excellent. Coming to the handlebar, the handlebar is like the bumper bar and it's um, leatherette and it feels really comfy to hold. It's, um, it's padded and yeah, and I think it actually complements this colorway really well. So looking at the back of the Ickle Bubba globe, you can see that we've got a one-handed seat recline and there are three different positions that you can use, uh, literally just with one hand by pinching here. If I demonstrate this for you, there we are. So that's how it comes. Then there's one. There we are. So this is the flattest version. There we are. Really lovely area there, a really lovely surface area for baby to lie on. And this canopy, remember, um, is UV 50. So that will be protecting baby from the sun. I think you'll agree, this looks very smart, but at the same time, it looks really cozy too. If I take my hand and just literally press the back, I'm not even using the thing to, uh, to close the, the clipper, I should say, I'm literally just pressing it up, look at that, and it stays in position. So that's really good. Now, the one thing I haven't put on yet, you'll be thinking is this, the bumper bar. So let's see how this goes. I'll just move the fabric out of the way. It looks very intuitive to me. It looks like you just slide that in, yep. And there we are, that's good, easy access. And then this side does exactly the same and clips in there, look at that. Now look at that, how smart does that look with the leatherette handlebar and the leatherette bumper bar? I love the curved design, I love the chassis. Um, that's very sturdy. Um, the wheels are really um, a really good size, they're very sturdy too. Um, I like the, um, the consistency of the wheels. And you can see under here, we've got an adjustable leg rest. So if I turn the push chair back upright, I'm hoping you can see there's a handle under here, there. And if I literally press the handle up and then down, there we are. So when your child's a bit older, they can sit in the pushchair up to three years old until they weigh 15 kilos. And look, you've got the uh, leg rest down and they can go on this, this bar at the bottom. I like this bar at the bottom. It's really sturdy, but it's curved and a really good surface that's easy to give a wipe. So if anyone's been out running around in the mud, easy to remove the mud from this bar. Okay, so now I'm going to open up the rain cover that comes with the Ickle Bubba Globe. And remember, the Ickle Bubba Globe that we have here is silver frame with the gray fabric. And this retails at 199 pounds. Okay, so this looks like a really comprehensive rain cover already. I can see we've got a mesh panel, which I love. Good bit of ventilation there. And there's a Velcro part that we can pop on to keep it closed, should there be a downpour. So let's imagine it's raining. I'm going to pull the hood forward. If I turn this sideways, you'll be able to see what I'm up to. And then this, let's have a look, this shape, matches the hood, pop that over there, this comes around over the front, over the footrest and in position here with these toggles, that's a good idea, look, to keep that in place and there's a velcro part here, so maybe this comes over here and lets the handlebar through let's try that yes now there we are that was very easy wasn't it even for me i understood that that's great so i put that on there that's stopping the rain going through got my hood up and then i've got plenty of room in here for baby and i've got two more um, velcro uh, straps here to keep 
the rain cover in place. Look at that, that's really good. And if you want to, you can roll this up as well. And then you've got your, your mesh area there. So that's really good. I, lo I love the fact that that rain cover's included. Plenty of room for the feet in here. Um, look at that, really good. So that's the Ickle Bubba um, globe. Retails at £199 and you can use it as a travel system. So you can, with the right um, adapters and the right accessories, you can use this to uh, use a infant carrier with as well. So now I'm going to fold down this Ickle Bubba globe and we're going to find out a bit more about uh, the warranty, etc. So with Ickle Bubba, there is the possibility of a four year warranty if you register the product uh, within 28 days of, of buying it. Um, otherwise, you get a two year warranty on most parts um, and a six month warranty on some of the softer parts. But that's all um, on the Ickle Bubble website. So you can have up to a four year warranty, which is a, makes this really good value for money. So before I fold the push chair up, I'm going to put the brake on, which is here, really easy to do. So having put the brake on, the next step is to press either side here of the uh, seat unit on the chassis and fold the handle down like this. And then pull this bar and as you can see, it's it's just desperate to fold up for you so that's done now if i want to i can then stand this up freestanding like this and there we are you can see it stands very beautifully on its own if i was taking this and putting this in the boot of the car it fits it would fit easily and as i said earlier you can use this in an overhead locker um, on an airplane which is really helpful however i would check with any airline you're traveling with first just to make sure that uh, the you know which rules apply so to put the push chair back up again i'm going to undo the lock at the side there we are pull it out like this unfortunately it's very light so very easy to put up again literally fold back there we are, pull the cover out if we want to, and we're ready to go. So if we want to um, use this uh, push chair with um, an infant car seat, then we would need to buy separately the Globe Universal Car Seat Adapters, which will fit on. Now these aren't included in the price and they retail at around 30 pounds. So you'd need the Globe Universal Car Seat Adapters, um, once they're on, you can then add um, a series of different car seats, including Ickle Bubba Galaxy Group Zero Plus car seat and um, a couple of Maxi Cozy car seats, the Maxi Cozy Cabrio Fix and the Maxi Cozy Pebble. So you would have to buy those separately, though. They don't come included with this um, with the push chair. So there we are again, I'll pull out the cover, as you can see, um, once again, really easy to use, easy access, gate opening for baby to go in and out of the chair with the leatherette um, bumper bar, adjustable uh, harness with lovely padded covers, and yeah, I think this is an excellent buy, excellent value for money, retailing at £199, and you can use this from birth until your child is around three years old and available from buggybaby.co.uk. So this is the Ickle Bubba Globe Push Chair. Yeah, one of our popular lines. Really popular and you can see why. You can use it with um, a car seat if you want to. Yeah. It's got three different... Comes with adapters or not? It doesn't come with adapters, no. That's a separate purchase. You've got three different recline um, levels at the back. If you just hold the back clip on the seat, 
um, with one hand, you'll see that plops down easily. Okay. That's nice. The fabric's quite nice. It's, I quite like it. It feels a little rough, so it'll be easy to clean. Yeah, and it's it's quite soft and spongy to, uh, to yeah. feel. Because the velour ones take um, stains. Ah, uh, yeah. Whereas this, I feel like that would not take the stains. I like the leather bumper. Yeah, matches and the handlebar. That's cool, because they're, they're always sleeping and you always feel bad when their feet are flopped. Yeah. And that just um, goes up and down. You've got suspension on the wheels. Yeah. I never think that that's that big a deal. Do you? Well, I don't they know They always really. say, and they always say the swivel wheel, but I just, <laughs> I never think like it's a big deal. Yeah. Oh, there we go, that's nice. I quite like that it clicks. Yeah, you know where you are, don't yeah, you? Yeah, you know where you are, because the ones with the pulley things are not, you're always fiddling with the pulley. Yeah. Whereas this just one level, two yeah. level. Oh, that's nice, I like that. Yeah. And you get the rain cover as well included, which we showed earlier in the video, so that's good. But that's all you get in with this. You get the push chair yeah. and the rain cover. The one bit I think they could have done a better job on, Ickle Bubba, yeah. is this. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, a bit crinkly. Yeah, but they have put a magnet in the hood, which I'm sure you've mentioned. I did. I always like that they do magnets instead of Velcro. And maybe that will over time hold better. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than the peep window. Brown leather's all right, isn't it? I think so. I think the two colours are a good tone, actually. Yeah, and it's a good pop. Yeah, and it folds really easily, uh, which Go we ahead, demonstrated. So either side of the seat at the top, on the frame. From this way. Yeah, you can actually. If you face it towards you, it's probably easier as if you were pushing that a way. child. Yeah. So inside the frame, by the seat. Inside the frame. Yeah. The seat. Yeah. Yeah. There and there. Oh, these buttons. Yeah, uh, that's it. Down. That folds down, and then grab the bar that at the back. That's it. Oh, you go. And you're done. That's cool. Yeah, and then it's freestanding. Without looking at the manual. Without. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then freestanding. I guess this way. That's it. Oh, yeah. yeah, and then there you go. So if you're around your mates, you walk in, you put that down, exactly, and it's, and it's there. Yeah, yeah, and that's actually quite a nice. That's quite a nice. Um, they can be too long. This mm -hmm. is. They've got the wheels down. They've got everything down. That's actually really nice. Yeah, apparently you can use that in an airline overhead locker as well. Yeah, I guess it depends on the airline. Yeah, doesn't it? yeah. And you've always got that, and you want to just. You know, grab one bag. Yeah. It's slightly tight on putting your over through, but cool. I like that. And flicking it up. Yeah, just reverse what you did before. So pull the handle up at the back. But remember, you've got to unlock no, just the side that. lock. Yeah. There we go. There's a little. Uh, That's that, it. That just grabs onto that nodule. Yeah. Get that off. And then you're good to go. And then there you go. A bit of a flick, maybe. Yeah. Like most push chairs, you're right, yeah. you just give it a bit of a flip. Bit of a, bit of a ping. Yeah. That's really nice. And how much? This is 199. 199? Yeah. And where are we in the ranking of vehicle bubbers? Because there's a globe. Yeah, there's a globe, the globe max, yeah, and, the, and globe the globe prime. prime. So this is your, if you like, your basic. Okay. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. The wheels are solid. Just to make a note for those watching. And standard harness, isn't it? Yes. And yeah. adjustable. So we've gone with the lowest points, that's, but they can be changed up. That's right, yep. Yeah. So you can use this from birth to three years old with that harness, yeah. Great. Out of ten? I'd say a definite eight, a yeah, solid eight. Yeah, I was going with an eight as well. I actually quite like that. They're really popular and I can see why. It's nice. Hi, it's Sally at Buggy Baby here. Um, today we're going to have a look at the Ickle Bubba Globe Max. So this is the box it comes in, which is very sturdy, um, you know, nicely protected. This push chair is for children from zero, so newborn up to three years old. 
and this model retails at £219. So let's open up the box and have a look inside. Okay, so we have here the foot muff and seat liner, which we'll have a look at in a minute. I can already say, wow, look, that feels really cosy. What else do we have? So we've got the push chair itself. We've got a leatherette bumper bar. And if I go further, lift it up by this handle. We've got the chassis and seat unit. And we've got a rain cover. Oh, we've got a cup holder and the wheels, which is useful. And we've got the instruction manual. So let's, uh, let's have a go at unfolding all this. So the Ickle Bubba Globe Max comes with this instruction manual and I'm going to try and um, unfold it and put it together without using it. Let's see how intuitive it is. Okay, so we've got some packaging over the leatherette, which is good. And I'm going to assume that at one side there is a little lock. Yeah, there is. So there's a lock here for the fold. We'll undo that. And it should, with a flick, open out, which it has done, which is excellent. So now I'm going to put the wheels on at the back and these wheels came separately in the box as we saw earlier. Now this colour, I have to say, is very beautiful. It's the um, rose gold on um, with black um, as well. And the colourway of the seat unit and the basket is olive green. And I can already see that this makes a very beautiful combination. So let's have a look at the wheels. So they come with, um, with a protection over this spindle, which is good. I'm just going to literally slide that in there. And then let's do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's turn the buggy up. Let's have a look before we go any further. Let's just have a look at the seat unit. So this is very beautifully quilted. It has a five point harness here. And as you can see, the straps have these very lovely um, padded sections. And these are removable by the looks of it. Yep, yeah, they would come off. So that's really cozy for your child. And the bottom strap as well has this um, padded area. It's a really deep green. The fabric is, um, is well padded, so it's a well padded seat, but I'm getting the feeling that if I was to drop some yogurt or some squash on here, it's not gonna stain. It feels like it's really, um, you know, really tough and hard wearing, but at the same time, it's really cozy. Now I can see under here, there's a clip, if you can see that which allows the leg unit, this um, calf rest is adjustable. So that's good. It means that I can turn um, this push chair and you can see that I can have it either as a chair shape for an older child, but thanks to at the back, we have an adjustable seat rest. And I'll try and show you that. Look at that there. We've got one, two recline positions. So if I, um, if I pop the canopy back on under here, you'll be able to see exactly how flat that lying surface is for a newborn. So this Ickle Bubba Globe Max is suitable for children from birth until they're three years old. So let's have a look at that flat lying surface. One, two. And if I show you that from the side, there we are. And if I then bring up the calf rest, 
you can see exactly how cosy that would be for a young baby. And I can see that here at the top, we have adjustable um, sections for the straps. So you'd start off with the straps in here and then here and then there. So that's really cosy and it keeps your child, um, you know, feeling nice and secure dis regardless of how, how old they are, which is excellent. So I'm now going to find the bumper bar and we're going to put that on here. So the bumper bar is leatherette as well, which matches the handlebar. And as you can see, the two tones of the colors, this uh, brown of the leatherette and the olive green really go beautifully with this rose gold color of the frame. I I'm, I'm really love this. So let's have a look. This is a groove under here. We'll put that in here. And let's just demonstrate this gate opening. So that's really useful because we've got plenty of space to put baby in. And then once they're in, we just fold this um, back on and there's the bumper bar. So if I turn the buggy away from me, let's have a look at the hood. I'll stand up for this. So the hood, has oh it has this lovely section in here look we've got a peekaboo um area which i can use to check for babies you know check they're okay and then if they are asleep at least i'm not waking anybody up so peekaboo cover there and it clips on with a magnetic clip i don't know if you can see that that's really good and then the cover is quite expansive isn't it um, I'll try and turn it from the side. So it's a UV 50 um, sun cover, which means that you've got sun protection for your child and it comes over quite a long way. I like the extended part here of the visor. I hope you can see that. Look, and that's good. Nice Ickle Bubba branding there in the same leatherette. It looks lovely. And at the back we have, ah, we have a pocket a pouch if you like. Now that would be really useful for putting your wallet in or your keys and it's also got this really beautiful bronze coloured um, label here in metal saying Ickle Bubba. I think that's a really lovely detail. Now let's see um, about the wheels. They're solid and so they're puncture proof. The front ones are swivelling and I think the front ones are also um, they've also got suspension, so you get a really good smooth push and baby enjoys a smooth ride. What else have we got? So we've got this lovely foot plate here, which is nice and curved and easily wipeable for uh, children's feet, which is excellent. Now let's see what else we get with the Ickle Bubba Globe Max for our recommended retail price of £219. The Globe Max includes this um, cup holder accessory which has a small groove here and you can see it applies on the side of the chassis. I've turned the pusher on the side just to show you. There we are. So that's quite a nice slim fit, really useful for carrying a cold drink when you are out and about with baby. And then, of course, we've got the other accessory that comes with the Ickle Bubba Globe Max included in the price of £219, which is the foot muff and um, seat liner. So let's grab that. So here's the foot muff and seat liner. And as you can see, it's got the beautiful um, the logo of Ickle Bubba once again um, in the rose gold colouring, which looks beautiful. But hey, look at this. This is so cosy. Um, it has a kind of, I think it's a velour lining across the seat liner. And you can unzip the seat liner and you've got two pieces. So if I wanted to, I could use the seat liner on its own. And in order to put it in, what we have to do is clip it to the top of the seat and I'm going to lift the seat up and show you this. 
So I'm going to, I've got poppers here and there are some loops at the top. So I'm going to pop that one there and I'll stand up so you can see, pop this uh, loop in there. That's gone into place easily. And because I've got these straps for the harness, I'm going to undo the straps. One, two, from the central buckle. I'm going to just slide off these two padded um, covers, put those to one side. And now through the holes in the seat liner, I'm going to thread these two straps. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to start as if I've got a new baby. So I'm going to start at the lowest level. So now I've put those through, I'm going to put this, the bottom part of the buckle through this hole in the seat liner here. So it's, it's designed really well. It's designed to fit very well. There we are. And if I pop these two back on, um, these two covers. I just think it's beautiful. Okay, so there we are. So we could put baby in there. Oh, and now before I do that, of course, I've got to hook these back on. So, we could have just a beautiful seat liner if we wanted to. And if I had a small baby, I might use the seat liner. I'd have the seat tipped back. I'd have the leg rest up like that. I'd have my hood over. Now look at that. How cozy does that look for a new baby? That looks like uh, heaven to me. I love that. Really beautiful. So say it was a winter's day then, and then I'm going to use the foot muff part. So inside the foot muff, once again, really beautifully made, beautifully finished. I hope you can see this. And the velour, I'm going to call it velour lining, looks very cozy. It feels very warm. So really beautiful um, use of the zip actually I mean you might think well a zip's a zip but look this is really hard wearing it's got really uh, it feels really tough and sturdy yet at the same time can hardly see it so let's uh, let's put this back on now I think you could if you wanted to attach that over the bumper bar or you could pull it up for baby. So let's have a look at that from one side. There we are. And if we have the hood down as well, that looks very cozy to me. Now look, you can also see from here, you've got the basket at the bottom. If I turn that round, and if I lift the seat up, you can see that the access to the basket is really easy from the back here. So I can pop things in there and get them out easily. And this draws my attention to this handle and this handle. Now these are useful for when you're folding the push chair. So if I demonstrate the fold now, then we'll have a look at the rain cover. Now, in order to fold this push chair, the first thing we have to do, and I'm going to fold it with this on, just to show you that it's uh, it's doable. In order to fold this push chair, we go to the sides of the seat unit onto the chassis and just press either side where my thumbs are, you can see, and fold the handlebar back. And then we literally pull up the handle from the middle. Just gonna tuck that in and let's have a look from the side and you can see if I kneel down, hopefully you can see how neatly that folds. And if I put it sideways like that, I can tell you that this measurement here is 25 centimeters and it's 
45 centimeters across there and 55 across here. Now you're doing some calculations, so I can tell you, yes, that is designed to fit in the overhead locker of an aeroplane. But what I would say is make sure you do check with an airline um, before, you, uh, before you go to make sure that the rules haven't changed. So now I'm going to unfold this pushchair. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I've undone the clip at the side here. There we are. I'm going to pull up the handlebar, give it a click, and then like with most pushchairs, give that a flick. And there we are, ready to go. Hi, uh, James Young from Buggy Baby. Uh, just having a kind of editor's look. So this is the rose gold. Yeah. Um, and the um, the colourway is olive green. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, really beautiful. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so we've done a the Ikobaba without the Max. Yeah. And the differences are that this one, the Max comes with the foot muff. Yeah. And the cup holder. That's it. That's it. So in terms of um, this colourway is available in the non-max yes. version. Yes, yeah. And it's all, everything else is the same. Yes, everything um, else. One thing I'm noticing is how plush this is. Oh, yeah. that's the foot muff, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I see, I see. So it's a seat liner. Yeah, so slash... it goes over the bit that you would get in the, let's call it the regular version. That's just right. Just the non-max version. Yeah. Um, so that, as we said in the um, other one, uh, it feels like you couldn't stain it or you could clean it quite easily. Yeah. Whereas this is mega plush and yeah, you, you know, it would take, um, it's not quite as hard wearing, but super, super cozy. Yeah. It's just uh, insane how cozy that feels. Yeah. Come in real close. Okay. So, yeah. So like that is just super like velvety soft. Yeah. So. Um, that is compared to that, which is you can hear it versus that. Yeah. It's so it's going to keep you warm or well, baby's yeah. warm. Um, do you know the price difference off the top of your head? Uh, it's twenty pounds. So this is uh, two hundred and nineteen. Yeah, this um, is the one nine nine. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, twenty quid for this and foot muffs are normally, if you put pour a upper baby, they're over a hundred pounds. Yeah. So twenty quid for just that, I'd say it's well worth the upgrade. Yeah, really um, is. Was that your conclusion? Definitely. And of course, you know, you'd you'd pay extra for the cup holder as well. Yeah, these are normally 14, something like this, 14 quid or so. That's right. Um, just notice how that is quite narrow. It would take a kid's bottle, won't it? Yeah, it might take a can. Yeah. Um, it's not meant for you, is it? No. It's meant for the, it's for meant the, for for a, the child. Yeah, a cold yeah. drink for a child, yeah. And if this is your first... Uh, child coming the whole time they have water bottles it's drilled in from <laughs> nursery um well i know when i was a kid we never had bottles but they're just constantly hydrating yeah so um that would be perfect for yeah. the hydration that goes on um so do a quick fold again yeah why not okay yeah. so i think it'll be the same as last time uh the little there's two little buttons inside here to fold that down that's it and then that is just connected up, picked up, and everything's there. And the foot yeah. muff, yeah, okay, you'll get a bit of a dangle of the foot muff, but that's not too bad, is it? No, you can, and, and if you stand it on the wheels, you know. That way. Yeah. Yeah. And you can kind of tuck that. Okay, there's just a popper there just to make that look a bit better. So yeah, that can sit in the corner. And I'm guessing again, this is meant to go in overheads. That's right, um, it can go on the overhead lockers of airlines, but as we said before, always check with the airline. Yeah, and just off the top of my head, we get hardly any aftercares on these. That's absolutely right. Yeah, so you can be sure that with a bit of luck, nothing will go wrong with it, because some push chairs... We see a lot. <laughs> we see them a lot back, but these, pretty robust, yeah. pretty functional, and yeah, not much goes wrong with these, so uh, 
I think that looks nice. It does. It, I think it looks fantastic in that colourway particularly. Yeah. We get the rain cover with this as well. Um, in some brands you would have to pay extra for the rain cover, but with this it's included. Yeah. Um, uh, just, um, I think the foot muff was just covering the strap if you come in. Yeah. Once that's folded, you can shoulder strap it and that is adjustable. Yeah. So it can be long or short, yeah. just to help. Yeah. And that's quite a good under storage basket. Yeah, and it's quite easy to get to yeah, as well. Yeah, from, from this side. Yeah. So, so. Yeah, no, these are very popular. And uh, yeah, that's adjustable somewhere in there. And that's nice. Okay. Thumbs up on this one. Hi, it's Sally at Buggy Baby here. And let's have a review today of these two very popular push chairs that we sell at buggybaby.co.uk. These are both by Ickle Bubba. We've got the Ickle Bubba Globe and we've got the Ickle Bubba Globe Max. The first difference is that the Ickle Bubba Globe Max comes with the uh, foot muff and seat liner, which you can see I've added here, which is, so the foot muff and seat liner is very plush. You can use it with just the seat liner by unzipping the foot muff, or you can use it as I have put it on here. And this is for uh, really great for winter use, and it's really cozy. Uh, it fits in over the top of the existing harness with these, uh, it's really made to design really well with these holes. So you've still got the full use of the harness, You've got three adjustable holes so that you can use uh, the straps in different heights with the seat liner involved as well. The other thing that's the main difference is you get this cup holder. I hope you can see this okay. So with the Ickle Bubba Globe Max, the price retails at £219. And with that, you also get the seat liner and foot muff and the cup holder too. The Ickle Bubba Globe is exactly the same push chair. You get everything the same. You get the leatherette handlebar, you get the leatherette bumper bar, everything's the same. However, you don't get the cup holder and you don't get the seat liner and foot muff with the Ickle Bubba Globe. But with both of these, you do get the rain cover. So that's the main point of difference, is that you pay £20 more, roughly speaking, for the Ickle Bubba Globe Max, and included in that £20, you also get the cup holder, which you might pay £14 to £15 for anyway, and you get this foot muff and seat liner, which, you know, may cost you £50 upwards were you going to buy them as an accessory. So really good value for money with the Globe Max. And also with the Globe for £199, if that's your budget, then you're getting the same push chair, really beautiful, really good colorways, really sturdy, uh, easy to push, comfortable ride uh, for children from birth until they're three years old. So they're both the same push chairs. The difference is just in what you get extra with the Globe Max, which is the foot muff and seat liner and the cup holder. You get the rain cover with both the push chairs. So let's have a look. I'm going to unfold this. It looks very straightforward to me. Okay. So in order to put this on the push chair, I'm going to pretend it's raining, so I'm going to pull the hood down, put this over the top of the hood, and in here you can see there is a Velcro opening. Now this opening goes over the handlebar. The rain cover covers the push chair really well, including the hood, and at the sides and at the front. Now this is an elasticated area here, so that's really good. And we've got this mesh opening at the front to allow some extra ventilation. And we've even got a little loop here that we can use to 
to keep it in place if we want to. So if I show you from the side there, you can see the rain cover fits really well over the entire push chair. And if I let the footrest down, you can see that it also fits over the footrest as well if we had the chair in the upright position. So there are small loops at the side to hold the rain cover onto the chassis and that looks really cozy in there. Now, as you can see, that's wheeling really well. That's a very smooth ride, really easy to direct, even though I'm only directing it from, from the floor. Um, if I hold the handlebar and look down, you can see it's really comfy. The handlebar's very squidgy, but firm. And yeah, so I think that's excellent. Such a good design and such good value for money from Ickle Bubba. If I pull back the rain cover, say it's a, a day where it's raining and then it's sunny, like we often have. Look, that, you know, that's very straightforward just to do that even, isn't it? And then carry on using the push chair uh, without the rain cover. Hi, it's Jamie Sanley again from Buggy Baby. This is the Ickle Bubba Globes. Um, this is just the Globe as is, and then the Globe Max. Uh, 199 normal price, 219. And the difference is, for that 20 quid, you get the whole foot muff and cup holder. And normally, uh, as we said in the, the single review, uh, foot muffs are normally at least 100 pounds yeah. um, on their own. And these are normally at least 14 quid. So for that price, it's an absolute no brainer yeah. to upgrade. You can, if, if you don't want it on in the, in the summer, whip that off and you've got this. And just for that little bit of extra, you get this whole extra um, liner and cup holder. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's quite nice just to see the colorway difference. Yeah. Um, in real life, if you sort of come in, Sally. Yeah. I'm, I really do like this rose gold. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, the, I mean, the chrome's nice, but it's not quite rose gold, is it? I just think that's... Yeah, it, it blends beautifully with the leatherette handle, doesn't yeah. it? And the bumper bar, yeah. So, but apart from that, exactly the same. So, um, it's a, a choice for you to make.